Hello! So today we are in Isla Conjumel. Um, we are doing a tour around the island. Super excited. Of course, you're going to see everything. Um, oh, did, did you sneak in? <laughs> Isla Cozumel is an island off the coast of Playa del Carmen and it is mostly known for its sandbank, El Cielo, with uh, loads and loads and loads of starfish, which was the original reason we looked into booking this tour and the reason we wanted to visit. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint in any way, shape or form. But this was a snorkeling tour, so we went to a few different locations and this was the first location. We got to swim with like loads of different tropical fish and just have some fun. Honestly, I found this part uh, the least enjoyable and the most stressful part of the tour because we had to wear life jackets and um, I don't like wearing a life jacket to be honest and we there was a few different groups and we kept losing our guide and it was a little bit stressful but it got so much better afterwards and it was still amazing even if this was just the only part of the tour that we did I would have still loved it so much I'm not complaining guys um, but we got onto the boat and headed off to our next destination and the water was so blue and so clear like I promise you this is not edited in anyway i haven't even done any color correction this is just what the camera picked up itself like look how insane that color looks it looks fake i can't believe it So here's me not so graciously <laughs> jumping into El Cielo. I thought this shot was so much better than it was. I thought I got the shot of the century. Um, but here are the starfish. Now, they do sell you the expectation that it's going to look like this. Obviously, it doesn't. Photos like this are heavily edited. So bear that in mind if you go. However, we got to see so many starfish and swim around them. We got some photos and some videos. Um, they will try to take your photos um, um, as part of the tour and they frame it as an activity but then you have to pay to get the photos etc so we just decided to wing it and dive by ourselves we said let's just have fun let's just try and get some photos by ourselves if we don't get any photos or videos that we like it's okay so that's what we did it was so beautiful to swim here as well. The water was crystal clear as all of the locations in all honesty. <laughs> There's me just saying hi. We lost our life jackets for a second so I went to retrieve them. Next up was a sandbank. I don't think this had a specific name but it was a lot shallower and this was the highlight of our day i've got to be completely honest with you so the plan was to go here have some drinks have some ceviche etc etc have fun and we were happy to do that they offered us some ceviche and some uh, pineapple fruit uh, nachos and it was all really good i didn't have any ceviche because it has fish and i'm veggie um but then we saw some stingrays like what and then after that we decided to have a bit of a drink but that didn't last for long we were literally like kids on this day um our inner children were so so happy we were just diving swimming around we were buzzing that we got to see some uh, stingrays but honestly it only gets better we decided to go exploring and try to find them again and we did they were like hanging around one of the boats and um, we uh, swam around with them for a little bit and then they left the boats and this other dude uh, came like look at this fish it wanted some attention um, but yeah as I said we got to swim with them and I'm just gonna leave you with some of that footage because it looks amazing and yeah here's, here's that little fish again he was everywhere he wanted some attention but look how cool he's swimming or it's swimming I love it does anyone know what fish this is because if you do please let me know in the comments I just need to know its name Going back to the stingrays now, I have one word to describe them and that is majestic. They were so beautiful and satisfying to watch like swim. I felt so much inner peace watching them swim. Like 
the, the footage just doesn't convey the feeling of being there with them they were so gentle and honestly it looked so peaceful we didn't want to spook them so we tried to keep our distance but they actually came and swam underneath us and we just wanted to observe them they were beautiful i didn't realize how fast they could be like we could not keep up with them <laughs> one thing i will say though is that if you do this tour um you're not allowed to wear sun cream in the sea because of like pollution so i would advise you wear like a t-shirt or like a full body swimsuit something to protect you from the sun because let me tell you it is brutal yeah you don't realize how strong the sun is um and you can't apply sun cream and stuff like that because you're not allowed to so i would recommend wearing a t-shirt to swim in because otherwise you will get burnt How was the trip? Uh, they can't hear us, but also sleep. We swam with stingrays. Okay, wow, that tour was life changing, wasn't it? Life changing. Mm -hmm. Life changing. We swam with stingrays like and literally under me yeah like it was crazy um and i th what i find crazy is that we were the only ones like actually doing actually it. looking at the stingrays and stuff everyone else wasn't bothered um so a private tour yeah pretty much um but now we're looking for somewhere to eat before we head back over to playa del carmen and heading over to tulum later this evening um yeah time to find some food We've come for lunch. I got this bagel. It's all veggie. I've got this juice. Uh, what was it called? Mad, mad, mouse, mad something. Mad, mad. Uh, what was it called? My juice. Mad, uh, I don't know. Kisana's um, got a very nice looking salad. It looks so good. It's amazing. And what's the sauce like? It's like cilantro, but like, is it good? Mm -hmm. Kind of milky, which you won't like. Okay. <laughs> And she made her own smoothie, which is really cool. Mm. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna do that. We can have it. I cannot even begin to explain how lovely that bagel was. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. 